Welcome to a video presentation of Chapter 3, Section 2 in McDougall Itell's 8th grade textbook entitled Solving Equations Using Multiplication and Division. We're still going to apply that same concept we did yesterday to solving equations today. Only now the inverse operations we're talking about are multiplication and division. We're using that exact same concept. You had questions in the homework yesterday. I believe one of them was What's the inverse operation of adding? I think the number was 4. Well, the inverse operation is subtracting 4. The only difference is today, now we're dealing with multiplication division. So if I ask you what's the inverse of multiplying by 6, you tell me it's dividing by 6. No big deal. Okay? So that's what we're dealing with here today. So as you can see, I've set up the examples in parts. Examples 1 through 4 are where you'll be doing the problems that involve uh, multiplication. In examples 5 through 8 are the problems that involve division. And when we get over here, there's some little hitches in the rules that we have to talk about. But we don't have to worry about that in examples 1 through 4, so let's get on with that. Example 1 is 9 times x equals 54, or 9x equals 54. All right. So on the variable side, remember, because we always do deal with what's on the same side as the variable, we're multiplying by 9. Well, inverse operation of multiplying is to divide. Since the number over there is a 9, we're going to end up dividing by 9 to solve this problem. So I'm going to divide by 9 on both sides of the equal sign. On the 9x side, obviously the 9s will cancel out, and I'll just have x, just like it did yesterday. And on this side, I've got 54 divided by 9, which is 6. No big deal. I am going to continue to expect today that you will show work on the homework. All right, that amount of work is not too much to ask, I don't think. All right, and remember, work showing work is worth work points on each assignment, five points of itself. All right, example two. Negative 2.5x two equals 20. Negative 2.5x equals 20. All right, so solve this problem. It's a multiplication problem, so I'm going to have to do what to solve it? Divide. divide and I'm going to divide each side by? 2.5. Negative 2.5. Negative 2.5. It is negative up there, so I do have to divide by negative 2.5. 2.5, 2 2.5 cancel out, and I'll get x equals negative 8. I would guess that if there's one thing that will throw you on homework tonight, it could very well be the negatives. I hope not. Hopefully you know your sign rules by now, but we'll see. Okay, example three. 3t three equals 54, or 3 times t equals 54. Am I going to go about solving this problem? Divide Elaine? Divide by, three. divide by 3 on both sides of the equal sign. Again, my 3's cancel out, and I'll have t equals, now I've got to do 54 divided by 3. 54 divided by 3, anybody? Eight. What? 8. No. 12. 18. 18. There you go. Thank you. I'm just waiting to sit there, okay? Yeah. Okay. Negative 12y equals 132. Negative 12 times y equals 132. How am I going to go about solving this problem? Corinne? Divide by 12. Close? Negative. There you go. Divide each side by negative 12. Again, when I say each side, I mean to what's to the left and to the right of the equal sign. Those cancel out, and I'll have y equals. Now, is this going to be a positive or a negative result? Negative. It's going to be negative. Mixed signs is a negative. negative and that is going to be negative 11. Good. All right. Now we go over here to the division problems. You can see the division problems are divided up into two distinct parts. Okay. You can see in the one part, 5 and 6, I've got the variable in the numerator or on top. Over here in 7 and 8, I move the new, uh, variable to the denominator or the bottom. That's going to be our difference. Okay. 5 and 6 we like when the variable's in the numerator or at the top because there's no tricks. Okay. It's a division problem. I solve it by multiplication. That should be very clear. Right, so in example 5, I've got a divided by 8 equals 6. The inverse of dividing is to multiply 
The number that's on the side of the variable is the 8. So I'm multiplying by 8. Now, the proper way to show that is to put these two things in parentheses and put 8 on the outside. Now, some of you might not do that, and I'll let you get away with that. Some of you I know last year did this. You did times 8 on the bottom. Okay? That's not proper, and I told you last year it wasn't proper, but I'll let you get away with it. Next year, you aren't going to be able to get away with that. Okay? But if you want to do it that way, you can. Um, I know some of you of that, like to just put times 8 like that on the outsides. Again, not really proper, but that's a little bit better. I'll let you get away with that too. As long as you can express to me that you're multiplying by 8 and not just write multiply by 8. Okay? I want to see some legitimate work. The 8's cancel on the diagonal, and you'll have A equals 6 times 8, which is 48. Okay. Why O2 